Hello. <clears throat> it's Sandra here in her happy place. Um, this is interesting. I'm trying to get some depth into my painting, trying really hard and thinking of ways of creating it. And what I've done, this is not finished, but if you can look really closely, you can see lots of mixed media in here. And that's a combination of um, all sorts of things, lots of um, neutral colors, dark colors, highly saturated colors. When, when I say highly saturated, I mean very bright colors. And then you've also got uh, a medium, like a paste in here mixed in with paint. So that creates all these nice, and they feel quite um, rough when you, you feel it. But the painting's still on the way. It's certainly not finished yet. So I was just gonna quickly show you what happens when you get a dark color running across. Oops, make it, here we go. I've got Prussian blue on here, just a little tiny bit. And you see, you can't see these at the moment, but when I do this and run that Prussian blue across, you actually can start to see how this is the marks, the textures coming out. And that's what I'm aiming to do with this painting is to put texture into here. Now, because I have a lot here in this one color, I use sponges a lot. And I'm just going to sponge this across a little bit more. So you see what it's doing, and I need more of this, it's making the painting more interesting with its darker colours. Because at the moment there's not a lot of contrast and that's what's been wrong with it. And you can see already it's starting to look more interesting and you can see the nooks and crannies and all the differences. Okay, so that's what I was going to say is when you come up in your painting, an area where you just don't know what to do sometimes just putting a dark color onto it like that will help now i think that painting is still not certainly not finished there needs to be lighter at the top here and probably more contrast here so i'm going to reach for the teal color again just a little bit not a lot and just run it across uh, just in certain little areas Maybe a little bit just over here. There, now that um, to me has given it more life. But I'm certainly not happy with it, but I, I'll hold it up so you can see it. It's certainly getting a more um, interesting look about it. And all the texture's there, it's just a matter of bringing it out. Um, it needs more lighter colours at the top here, but at this stage I'm concentrating on the bottom part. Now, I think it needs a lovely big strong contrast of a colour. And I've been thinking about this and I came up with the idea of using one of my favourite colours, which is Burnt Sienna. Can you see it there? It's a really deep, beautiful, deep shade, which will look quite good with that, I think. So here we go. And just remember, whatever you put on, you can take it off. You just get a, a bit of wet rag or a wipe, wipe it off you can also paint over it. So nothing is ever wasted, okay? Uh, don't ever be afraid to experiment. If you don't experiment, you don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to try and put um, interesting shades across here and run it in different ways, not following exactly the patterns. And maybe just a little bit up the top here because we need our eye to run around the canvas a little bit. I'm going to leave it up there and we'll work that one in, okay? So now, I think that's looking a lot better. We'll put a bit more in, I think. I think it could take a little bit more, maybe running down. And I think it could take some in this area here so that you've got this burnt sienna toning coming in as so though you've got lovely light coming across. Okay, now that's certainly not finished. Next thing I do is get, hang on, that's too hard. This is better. A sponge, I love a sponge, use them a lot. And I just, it's slightly damp, so I'm not going to wet it. And I'm just going to 
rub the sponge around. Mix it in, we'll see what's going to happen here. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. My asthma's playing up again. Okay, so that's still a bit spotty, as you can see, not happy with it. So I'm going to get what I use a lot. I use these little brushes a lot to blend in the work, the colour. So I get a little bit of water, not a lot, just a little tiny, and start blending the colours in. And you can see slowly, this is developing into like interesting shapes and softer colours, which is what I was feeling that this was actually missing, this darker sort of toning that will just shade in and you can move your eye across to here. Now I want to try and get some of this coming up here so you feel as though it's the light's coming up coming down and then back up again. So. Wow. Now always stand back and look. That's looking a lot more interesting. It's more colour variation, more different values, more toning, and these clouds are starting to stand out. Now, these brushes, are, blending brushes are amazing. I use them in all my work now, and it gives a lovely sort of soft look that I'm trying to create. And already, I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing. Um, it's fairly saturated here, but I don't mind that. I'm gonna run a little bit of water down here and see what happens. And don't be afraid to put, you know, just, just softly gentle gentle use of this brush because you don't always need highly saturated colours. Uh, also, it's fairly important to keep your brush very, very clean, so if you can. Alright, now, I need to spend a little bit of time really standing back and looking at this. It needs more white at the top, I can see that, but from when I started to now, it's looking a lot better, isn't it? And this is what painting's all about. It's actually like dancing. It's like a dance between colours, saturated colours, which are the bright colours like here, they're highly saturated there and there, to the soft, gentle colours, which you can see coming through by adding a little bit of water and mixing in. You can also use a medium if you wish, but I find water's cheap. It doesn't cost anything. And you certainly learn to blend things in fairly quickly. Um, quite liking the movement here. You've got your colours through here and across. I need to get more white up the top here. I think it would look a lot better. But before I do that, I need to clean this brush. Very important you keep this brush as clean as possible. I need to buy some more. So I just put it in the water and just get a, a rag like so and just gently try and squeeze out the water. But again, you have to be careful because sometimes the hairs come out of this. And when the hairs come out, you get hairs around the canvas. So you have to be just a little bit careful and checking all the time. But I do, um, I do really like, I, I like the, um, the, the mark making here. I especially love the bottom part. The top part isn't as good as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to be using, again, my trusted sponge. I'm going to use some titanium white on it and I'm going to be rubbing white across in different places just to get some nice contrasts. A bit more, I think. That's around here. Not giving too much thought, it's just, just a matter of getting 
uh, different values into it. So now before I do the next stage, I actually use water spray and using my favourite little tool, my blending brush, I'll then blend it in again gently. Like creating clouds almost within the painting. I'm not even sure what's going to happen. I'm, I always like to stand back and look once I've done a little bit of this and see where it needs to go. And again, it takes lots and lots and lots of layers like what I'm doing. I'm not going to finish all this in one go. I don't ever try to finish a painting in one go uh, because it just doesn't work. You need to stand back and then you need to look at it for a while. Look at it, the contrast and think, well, what does that look like? Now, I'm really looking like this is looking pretty good. Looks a bit like a star up there, so I think I'll just try and rub this a little bit more in. That's better. Yeah, it looks like mountains poking up mountains, and that's good. Not sure where this is going. Um, I'm just showing the dance. I'm, I call it the dance of colour. And that's what my video is called, the dance of colour. And that's what you have to do. When you're an artist, you have to just keep layering and layering not using lots and lots of different colours, only about three or four colours plus white and black and I've got hardly any colours here. I've got um, oh, burnt sienna, Prussian blue, I've got this teal colour and I forgot to show you. This is uh, yellow green which I'm actually putting onto the brush here and you can see, and I'll run it across, suddenly you get this yellow green toning. Um, and I've got that around in different parts. Again, you don't need a lot of it. It's just a matter of um, coordinating so your eye runs across the canvas. The yellow green, you might want to put a little bit up there and maybe a little bit down here. And when you find you've put too many colours, you've got to then take them off again, rub them off. I use an old rag a lot like this and I can rub it like so. You've just got the suggestion of that, the yellow green. Don't rub it up so much that you end up with nothing. That's not the idea, but just to show that you've got the suggestion of this colour. And I think that's given it more values again. There. Okay, so I suppose we'll leave it at that because I, I can just keep going. And, you know, I don't know when this is going to be finished yet. It's getting close, but it's not there yet. Um, I'm just looking here. I'm not too sure about this big marker going across here to there, because your eye's going there, and here, and then up here. And then it's coming to maybe here, but it's coming up to nothing. So I need to do something about putting some marks over here. Okay, because I don't have enough toning around this area here. Um, and you can see I'm just marking it as I'm standing here um, so that I don't lose the spot where I've got some toning into it. And again up here, it's that yellow-green toning, which is rather nice. And it's, uh, it's one of my favourite colours that I love to use. Okay, well, I'm not too sure about that there. And if you're not happy, you can always just get water. Just, I'll show you now. A little bit of water on the cloth and you can rub it off. And don't be afraid to rub and show the layers that come through because by rubbing, you get lots and lots more different contrasts and the painting becomes interesting, okay? So, and then I'd like to see some more neutral colors into this. Probably uh, some yellow green here mixed in with white, which I haven't done. And this is, you know, this will give it. It's yellow green with white. And I've used my blending brush, which is probably not a good idea because I'm going to have to really wash it out quite well soon. Um, and I think the secret is gentle, gentle, slow, slow. Don't try and finish a painting in one session because it, it 
won't finish you won't finish it to your liking in one session and also sit on it like that's better already i think it's um it's given a bit more contrast to it more values more neutral colors quite liking it now but you've got to sit on your paintings look at them think about it give it some thought and think what do i want what do i like about this painting what don't i like about it what where can i improve where does the eye go and that's something i need to just sit and look now i'm going to leave this here at the stage and i'm going to leave it for maybe a day or two and i'll come back and look at it but i'm starting to be happier than i was it took me a long time to get this painting to the point where i was feeling a little bit happier with it because it was an old canvas i had that i was using as a practice canvas and i decided because it had so much mixed media on it i thought the best thing i could do is just to keep adding layers which is what i've done and i feel like i've resurrected the canvas into something really interesting so and i'm just doing it a bit more up here yeah, that's better so it's coming through and you can see it going up it's almost like um, a lot of my work is landscapes nature and it just sort of happens I don't try to make it a landscape it just comes out I just keep playing and this is what emerges okay so that's my session for today you've had nearly 17 minutes of my time and thanks for watching I really appreciate you following me I'm really happy I've only been doing this a short while teaching online I do have programs you can follow. I'm going to have more programs uh, and they're quite reasonably priced if you have a look. They're under www vibrant silks and under my Instagram Sandra Dawn Art. So okay, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.